what is field service so field service is a very generic term more like a horizontal which is applicable to multiple verticals or industries just like hr or sales or finance it's not limited to one particular industry right it's not just that finance is only required by uh, banking finance is required by every organization similarly hr is required by every kind of organization similarly field service is applicable to multiple industries so as i've listed down retail in retail organizations you would have in store merchandisers wherein there are big stores like let's say dmart or what is what are those uh, <laughs> big bazaar right right now the big bazaar yeah, uh, uh, walmart right walmart now in these kind of stores you have 10 50 80 different uh, product categories product groups right clothes food groceries dairy uh, uh, shoes cosmetics all different kind of things right right now different companies who are selling their product to these enterprises will be working with them on a regular basis looking at how their products are placed in the segments there there are n number of things that happen behind the scenes we don't even know about it but there are minor things minute things like my product is placed at the front of the store or back of the store my product is placed at the top of the shelf or lower in the shelf because you need to understand a customer psyche there are conscious decisions and there are subconscious decisions right so when a customer goes into the store he is more likely to buy items who which are in front of the stores and less likely to buy items which are at the end of the store right more likely to buy items which are at his eye view level eye level and less likely yeah. to buy items which are above the eye view level or below the eye view level right so those are the things that these people have to take care of and then accordingly they do it um uh, in the retail store but that's dedicated to retail technology manufacturing technicians you have a machine which failed and now you need a technician to come in and fix it maybe a refrigerator or big machine like industrial machine healthcare home nurses there is a elderly person they need some uh, consultation but they can't travel so they need a nurse visiting their home and doing it or there are uh, in us there there can be some kind of a let's say mandatory requirements based on the plan or insurance that you will get a visit so it's not that you have asked for it because your plan mandates or gives you a subscription so the company themselves will call you that you have a schedule and you need to book it so it's kind of a reverse it's not that customer is requesting it it's company is asking that you need to do this so let us know what is the best time we can do it okay banking same thing elderly people or high profile people they can't travel they can't spend time they want agents to come in the bank professionals to come in at their home or their given location wherein they can perform their banking request or anything that they want to take care of logistics drivers or delivery workforce let's say uh, ups fedex or uh, um, dhl um, different courier services who the people who are delivering those products at the end site or picking up the products from different customer or office locations right all of those people are being routed based on these field service uh, mechanisms or models utilities again same thing technician or service agent who's coming in let's say um, um your um uh, water pipeline has broken and water is coming out you need that fixed you call the uh, service helpline and they send a technician your to your home so utilities service service agent coming in as a field service technician so all these areas pertain to a field service problem space wherein you have requirements for services to be provided at a given location it can be a home location office location or any customer preferred location okay Right. any questions not yet sir okay so what are the key process flows general process flows in a field service solution so the general process flow there are three main steps demand generation scheduling communication assignment confirmation and the execution the first 
phase is where customer makes a call or the service request is generated the work order is created for the service request right and then the work order is scheduled based on the time date location provided okay so you can be a big company and like let's say in us there are 50 states and you probably are working in all the 50 states so what state what date what time will help you define who all people can actually address it serve the service complete the service then the next part is once once the scheduling happens how do you communicate to the person or the end technician who's going to complete it so basically your uh, uh, you're scheduling resources and assignments and communicating to them notification to be sent to the agents an agent confirming acknowledging that they can visit it again depending on different industries there might be different steps or lesser steps or more steps but this is more like a generic model of field service after agent acknowledges that yes okay i see this i can see the details and yes i'll be there something like that um then the execution starts the actual date and time and location agent goes there um performs the service completes the service hopefully takes customer's approval and the work order is closed fine any questions this is a very generic flow there can be 50 different steps in here based on different companies or industry what is the industry need i mean this is a uh, graphic i copied from salesforce side and this as you can see is just highlighting the projection for 2019 which probably was generated around 2017 but now with the advent of these tools and the growth of how this whole industry is expanding uh, this will be definitely 5 to 10 times more than what it's displaying in here and field service is something that is uh, rapidly catching up because of the availability of digital tools digital services and the better tools or optimizations that are now available there is lesser cost in actually executing these kind of operations in a much faster way prior to let's say these solutions the best way people could do that was actually using outlook calendar or something like that and we built something like that actually uh, for uh, bloodhound wherein we created a custom calendar for them they can put people on different dates times locations and they can find people who are best suited for a given work you may have um a same thing me- medical ex- uh, uh, scenario let's take healthcare scenario you may have 50 nurses but not all of them ha- will have same skill same certification same licenses right some may be good right, on uh, bone some may be good on hearing aid some may be good on visual or, or op- ophthalmology whatever that is called uh, brain uh, child uh, women different areas different skill sets so you'll have to match all those things to get the best person available for the job right right sir now what are the key features of field service management solutions again just high level product areas what products provide and a generic level around field service solutions create and manage work orders um manage and monitor technicians scheduling and uh, order management vehicle technician location tracking job status updates route optimization time tracking and driver logs knowledge and asset repositories uh, integrated invoicing payment processing customer portals regulatory compliance measures and parts and inventory management and lot of it is again generic in nature applies to pretty much every organization or most of the organizations that use or need field service uh sir sir i'm sorry for interrupting could you start uh-huh. the slide show because the icons are too small to see better now uh, absolutely not yes. sir uh, i anyways yes. upload that in hey, uh, yeah. on the sharepoint so don't worry about that okay Uh, all right all right sir okay um key challenges you guys can still see my screen right yes yes, yes sir better now yeah. okay key challenges around uh, field service implementation or, or or utilization first is schedule adherence i'm sure everybody would have faced this problem you call up a technician 
the technician is supposed to come in at 12 pm and they do not arrive at 12 pm they do, do not arrive at all right yeah, that definitely not happens happens with everyone and that's it number one problem of any field service organization wherever field service required that their agents get to the location in the scheduled time biggest problem right. and that's the that's the uh, you can say uh, the big key of success people whatever you can do if you can crack it that's the best part of or that's the unique or best solution you would have uh second resource utilization as part of any organization which deals with resources it is every resource every hour is a cost and if that hour is not billable that's a cost lost that's opportunity lost so how effectively you are utilizing your resources how effectively you are scheduling them and you need to keep in mind there are n number of factors that can happen uh the the customer themselves may need to cancel it or reschedule it that means if somebody was supposed to go in at 2 pm but that appointment is no longer there it's cancelled so that means that person is now available for one hour or two hour time slot and if he is he or she are not booked then in that case it's a two hour loss for the company right? right so so how effectively can you utilize it you may want to just see okay there was another request in the same area why don't we just ask customer if they are available and we can uh, send agent there and we can utilize agent so those kind of yeah. things uh, process tools can help on highlighting those areas customer service or experience uh, how effectively can customer request a service what is the process during execution of the service or communication of the service schedule and after completion of the service what are the post closure activities and how they are handled to make sure that customer is not let's say going through multiple calls or lot of paperwork uh, to get a simple service done right 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 so sir. very important i mean you, nobody wants to fill a 40 page document after completion of a service you will not, rather never call that person for service if you have to fill 40 True, pages sir. exactly right you would not even fill one page actually For, forget yes. about 40 pages you you would just find the bothered about paying the money and just signing off if that is required that's it nothing else right sir uh compliance big part as we talked about different industries every industry would have its own compliance needs regulatory needs healthcare would need licenses for the um 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 permits and licenses for the healthcare agents uh for technicians they would have their own licenses and permits based on state and country regulations or, or even industry regulations that are there like for example a technician has to be certified by a certified authority and his license should be valid right a person who is driving his driver license should be valid right so all those kind of things come into compliance uh first time resolution again cost so when we talk about first time re resolution the idea is how effectively can we equip our process behind the scenes and the agent to make sure they're able to complete the service in first visit itself if your agent is not able to do so you'll have to send another agent or maybe the same agent another time and that's another cost okay right so the first time resolution is hugely important communication how effectively are you communicating to your customer and field service agent let's say you schedule in a uh, same scenario uh, an appointment was cancelled if you don't tell your agent that the appointment is cancelled he will show up at, probably show up at the customer location and then that's again wastage of time and the agent is now Uh, frustrated because he was never told that this not, uh, the appointment has been cancelled or moved right and then again communication on the customer side if there was a schedule change and the agent was arriving at 2 pm but now the agent is arriving at 4 pm and customer doesn't know about it customer is frustrated but if you can proactively call customer that the agent who was coming at 2 pm is running late he can't come in we can move him at 4 pm does that work for you 
Now that's a good customer service. That's a proactive customer service. I mean, nobody is God, so people usually understand. Okay, there are certain challenges. There are certain issues in scheduling. There are legitimate scenarios wherein the schedule has to be rerouted. But then, in that case, they are giving them an option to route it, whether you want to reschedule it for later date or later time. Right. Post work documentation, as we talked about the documentation part. Again, it's both. How can you minimize it, and how can you complete it at that point? In certain situations, we had situation or scenarios wherein it was so diligent paperwork or something like that that the paperwork or closure was handled as a separate activity by somebody else, not just the technician. Again, that is cost. and that is hassle for the customer itself to go through another closure process so if we can minimize it and even use digital tools that would be the best to minimize uh post work documentation resource management how do you bring in resources how do you train resources how do you plan resources and how do you maintain resources and resources is not just humans it can be a truck it can be a big machinery right every machinery every truck would need service how effectively are you tracking their service times how effectively are you tracking their breakdowns maintenance cycles right and last and not the least for sure is minimize cost all of these are part of minimize cost but then minimize cost is beyond that wherein like what are the different areas in which your cost is rising up or it is big and that is something what are the ways in which you can minimize it make sense right sir yes sir okay sir so, question here aha uh -huh. sir we got uh, avril uh, if you can remember we got a lead uh, named callston okay aha uh -huh. mm -hmm. and they were looking for the field service solution i'm not looking for actually we suggested them mm -hmm. um Uh, but in their process, uh, as uh, you mentioned in your previous slide, that first time, uh, what was that first time? Until, uh, first time resolution. resolution. Mm -hmm. So, but in their process, what was there? So, uh, in first visit, the technician will visit the site and he will check what are the issue. And again, he need to uh, visit visit second time with the equipment to fix that issue. So, you know, how can we address? you guys that is a different thing uh, what happened is uh, in their case it was like since the uh, product the customer cannot for sure say yes this is the problem and they cannot check it remotely what exactly the problem is in the second cycle that would be but even they prefer if in the first uh, visit if the resource can solve the problem that's good for them and it minimizes the cost and in english you're right again um, you need to remember these are generic viewpoint on field service areas and first time resolution is uh, you can say a desire of every organization but you may not be able to accomplish it based on different challenges or situations right as aviral was pointing yeah, out there can be situations where you cannot predict anything you cannot even provide any estimation of work or resources that will be required materials that will be required so you have to make first initial visit to do that same thing like as we do in project management right we do a phase right. of requirements gathering and then we do uh, estimation based on that and then we deliver it because we can't predict it by just customer telling us okay this is what we need right so different situations different measures okay um solutions schedule adherence and when we talk about solutions basically talking about how these packages primarily uh fields dynamics for field service and salesforce field service management solves these areas and unfortunately i don't have anybody from salesforce right schedule adherence so how effectively can you make sure that your agents are scheduled are following the schedule so the first and foremost thing is how effectively can you track your agents or locations or vehicles so that you know in the system if the agent is going to make it in time or not and then the communication can come up if the agent is not going to make it in time how effectively proactively can you start communication cycle right right resource utilization 
Now, how effectively one can you actually monitor the utilization if you don't even know how much utilize, utilized your resources are, you would not be able to consume the utilization. So you need to be first able to effectively and clearly tar, uh, track the utilization, whatever best and fastest mechanism you can come up with. And then whatever fast and best mechanism can come up with to fill those slots, available slots, right? For example, in case of, I'm sure Microsoft Dynamics also have it, uh, and my uh, Salesforce has it, wherein, let's say, you have 10 agents free for next two weeks, and you have 80 appointments for next two weeks. You just click a button, and based on your routing schedules or routing algorithms or routing models that have been set up, or scheduling models that have been set up, not just routing. Scheduling models based on customer uh, agent skill, uh, location, customer location, date, time, availability. It will automatically allocate those work orders to the right or uh, best available agent automatically in one click. And beauty of that is that it is following the same rules that your organization wants to adhere to. Let's say for a specific dental appointment, you want to send only the nurse who had go, uh, who has the right certification. Or actually, you can also send the same person who visited the same patient last time because the patient wants the same nurse to come in and they were very happy with the nurse, right? Or the nurse is going to location A and the next appointment location B is five minutes distance from there. That's the best nurse who can service it. If Again, nurse uh, meets all the other criteria. Now, all those factors are crunched within the scheduling algorithm or scheduling model. And then your system automatically starts scheduling it. And now think beyond it. Let's say you did schedule it for two weeks from now or four weeks ahead from now. But after one week, customer said half of the customers call and they want to change it. So it's not one time. You have to rerun re re the schedule optimization every week or maybe every day, depending on whatever your business and needs are. So that it's not just the optimization that happened one time, it's the optimization that's happening every time. Okay. So by the end of the day, by the, by the day arrives of the actual uh, date and time of the schedule or the work to be done, you're sending, your, your agents are pretty much completely utilized and you're sending the right person for that job who's available at that time. Customer service experience, again, how, how effectively can we uh, take care of those touch points with customers, scheduling, rescheduling, canceling service appointments, uh, and also make sure that we can use digital tools like mobile apps or portals, website portals to take care of those processes. And specifically look at people with special needs so that if you are using a mobile app or web app, people with special needs, maybe colorblind people or people who cannot see clearly, they can still access the website with all the accessibility features set up or tool with the accessibility feature set up so they can also use the tool. Otherwise, they can't use it. Compliance, how effectively you're tracking your certifications, probably you can set up your processes within the tool to track your... Um, certifications, compliance needs, whatever there are, you can automatically send alerts to your field technicians. If let's say their certificate is expiring in two months, you start sending them emailers and, and notifications beforehand so that they can complete their uh, renewal in time and they are compliant, right? Or generate a report of the agents who are no longer compliant so that there can be an effect appropriate action taken up, right? Yeah. First time resolution, identifying the areas which led to a second visit or a third visit or four visit so that you can in future predict better uh, in a better way on how effectively you can achieve first time resolution. There will never be 100% rate of first time utilization, but there will always be areas of improvement to get closer to 100% uh, first time resolution. And that is the key. How effectively can you track those areas? How effectively can you measure that?
communication as we just talked about how effectively and how in different ways you can communicate to agents maybe email voice sms bots social whatsapp whatever best effective alternate ways you have to communicate to customers and you can utilize the better will be the customer experience and effective communication less hassles less confusion and effective closure of the items tasks right if you send an email and customer is not able to access email then it's of no use how effectively can you communicate to customers in certain scenarios we had an example wherein the customer i mean again it's point of how effectively can you track it and how intelligent can you make the process now in a particular scenario what happened was that they they realized that there were situations wherein let's say there was an appointment booked and the agent will arrive in 20 minutes and the agent just gives them a heads up call that i'm coming to your place i'll be there in 20 minutes and the customer says oh we are not ready or or we forgot about the appointment right and that can happen and now one thing we are, we are talking about a miss and second we are wasting or taking uh, agent's time so what can also be done or uh, from a solution standpoint solution can be if the system or a tool can automatically send an sms or a call to the agent or to the customer telling them that their appointment is going to be there in 30 minutes or 1 hour and so and so technician will come in and visit them are you okay with the appointment or do you want to reschedule it if they want to reschedule it then it follows the process do you schedule it and then sends a communication to the agent that you don't not need to go over there your appointment has been cancelled right so all that effort can be reduced and now maybe we are not able to automate all of it we, maybe we need some back office person to take care of some of the steps but then we are avoiding agents time or utilization for those kind of activities and agent is on field so they may not have clear visibility around who is available what is the availability and all that so it those kind of things cannot be handled by agents okay post work documentation again how can we ease up the process maybe if we can digitize it so instead of paper form if we can have a mobile app or a tablet through which we can collect the data now the agent don't need to manage papers as soon as the information is submitted on the app it's submitted to the server and it's done right there are no problems around handling of the data handling of the paper and all that kind of stuff payment can be transacted at the same time no worries about managing checks or cash um all the way um if there are there are certain needs there may be let's say uh, service delivery your pipe was broken and it has repaired now let's say for compliance reasons you need proof of completion so you can just take a picture from your phone and save it along with the work order as the completion proof and take signature from the customer that's done right right smartphones are pretty smart these days uh, resource management again as we were talking about some of the things actually coincide so how effectively are you managing your tools your technicians their machines uh, vehicles downtime and all those things so how in your tool can you schedule the work for example a uh, uh, truck it has to go for maintenance every 6 months how can you schedule it and let's say if you are scheduling auto- automatically then you need to make sure that that truck is not scheduled for any work appointment during that sh- maintenance period automatically taken care of by the tool it will block the uh, truck or a machinery during that maintenance period maybe two days so it will block it so nobody can sh- uh, book that uh, truck during the maintenance cycle right right otherwise if you don't have that net intelligence you can imagine what would happen you're expecting a truck and the truck is gone on uh, on the uh, workshop so you don't have any truck and minimize the cost uh, again uh, identifying areas beat schedules routes uh, resources materials areas which are um, identifying the, uh, minimize cost would be more towards analytics i would say on how effectively you're measuring these areas 
and how effectively can you identify the root areas or areas of improvement on a regular basis on a continuous basis to minimize the cost so that's about it any questions from you guys that's what i have no sir not yet did it my... help did it help actually yes sir it okay. streamlined our th- uh, thought process and i guess this is really really required because as i've been saying it's one thing to look at technology it's one thing to uh, look at industry and it's one thing to look at problem statement and the solution around it Can three I different say? areas in as you look in this particular case there are multiple industries every industry will have its own nuances and needs multiple right, so. tools microsoft dynamics has probably different way of doing certain things and my uh, um, salesforce has some way of doing things salesforce has actually uh, i'm not sure dynamics has it but salesforce has built in ai equipped models behind it to optimize these um, even further in fact yogesh do you know if um, dynamics also have some ai capabilities around it field service no. yes they have perfect okay so yeah those are the things that that uh, kind of we need to be sure of when we talk to customer we first of all need to be sure about what is a typical process and what do they do around those process what are the compliance needs what are their main challenges what are things that are working from them for them what are things not working for them very right, very sir. important in i'll give you another example like bloodhound what they did was they used to have this document problem how can you complete the documents that are required for a particular work order how can you view and track those documents so the solution we built and we actually i think we built it like 5 or 6 years back was that they subscribed to box.com which is the document service tool document uh, management tool for every work order that's created we create a folder on box and within salesforce within that work order they can actually see that folder and they can drag and drop files wherever they want and those documents are actually uploaded on box.com but visible directly from that work order within salesforce if an agent goes on to field they can open the work order and they can open those documents right from there they don't have to find what documents they have to complete so if a back end person says that you need to complete form 1a for this visit they just open that form completed if for a different visit they need to for, fill form 2a they don't need to find the document they have that document in there they open it up and fill it up so it's very easy for them and people on the field they're not struggling with decisions they are being fed this is what you need to do and they are just following those instructions right so, so lots and lots of areas around uh, optimization in this and this area actually has been a problem for in fact uh, odit is not in this call right no so he was not able to join okay odit i am here i am to... acha okay odit okay. you want to add about field service solution that you guys are working on uh, in fis i think you guys are working on field service right that was the field service solution mm, no we were not working right? what was that tool is wasn't that field service i kind of remember that as a field service mm, i guess we were part of the team but the actual field service, we were not doing the field service thing yeah, we yeah, were I doing mean, the, the project the big program was about field service right yeah right so what i'm trying to say is that this puzzle has been there for a lot of time but now with cloud uh, based platforms faster computing and a lot of ai behind the scenes and general know how of how digital technologies work the solution around field service has uh, you can say improved significantly in past almost 5 years i would say to be cautious so beyond prior to 5 years the solutions were not that mature or not that capable but in past 5 years you will see that these solutions like dynamics and salesforce field service they are mature enough that they can cater actually almost 60 to 70% of your generic needs from field service standpoint so you don't have to create everything from scratch you can use a lot of out of the box capabilities which was not the case earlier you had to use a custom built solution 
pretty much every time that was the biggest challenge i mean you can imagine these kind of things take time take maturity so big companies like ge um uh, or honeywell these companies had these solutions or their own flavor of solutions because they were big companies they could invest but small companies didn't had it but now pretty much a lot of small companies can have it as well because they are not really paying millions of dollars in subscription they are just paying 10000 dollars maybe or 5000 dollars which is very easy for them in that case Now even the, the one that we are proposing to colston is like 4 and a half or 5 lakh rupees per annum right now the key thing is half of the people don't even know there is a solution out there in fact lot of people don't know there is a solution out there so customers may have a field service problem but they don't may not be even sure that there are field service tools that that can be used to solve these problems and that's where you guys can step up and educate customers give them demos and shape up the solution to suit their business needs right sir absolutely so help me understand what's what's uh, i want to just shift gears what's happening with goldstone where are we on that and what do they need so the customer actually uh, uh, yogesh has already mentioned about this problem so they have a problem on field service they're calling it customer service it's getting me confused but uh, i've provided them with the solution but for the like uh, for the past week the customer has not been responding to our calls or messages or anything and why are they not responding sir to be very honest i think they are too lazy for that because even earlier they were like this only they came to us scheduled the calls and then vanished and then after like two or three days they would respond or like four or five days they would respond i would not say lazy they are probably too busy to respond that yeah, can also that be might be because the... i met uh, the uh, i met the md there uh, with their hr head is the md ahuja mm-hmm. so uh, like i went to add the scheduled time i was 5 minutes before our scheduled meeting and mm-hmm. i had to wait for about one and a half hours just to meet her okay <laughs> yeah I, i'm not kidding at all and i'm not exaggerating well, i guess that's that's i think a general problem in india anyways right uh, yeah that is uh, well i'm i'm all right with that i don't have problems with this happens okay but first of all what is their problem okay so problem um, so the problem statement is as of now they are using microsoft excel to manage all of the service requests and it is a mess for each customer um, if a customer had made like uh, four or five times they've asked for a service request so uh, there are like four or five entries separate entries in the excel which is not First the optimum all, way colston what do they do they i kind of recall you mentioned but i forgot what do they do sir uh, they they make uh, bar tabs and shards and all these things and their service requests are fixing these items uh no it's not fixed uh, it's like that you uh, buy a uh, you, let's say you bought uh, a whirlpool for your place right and mm-hmm. then they give you provide you with a warranty okay this is your warranty period so whatever right. goes down right a part can break even uh, like your the whirlpool can have a crack when it mm-hmm. got delivered or mm-hmm. during the maintenance period mm-hmm. so so anything can happen on uh, in it and they will fix perfect. it perfect perfect no that's that's very important now why ask that is because there is another aspect of it that i should have actually included in there uh that is called uh, asset management or asset tracking okay or even warranty tracking actually if you want to take it uh, and bifurcate it because in this case you would have a warranty cycle or a warranty lifetime a uh, warranty yes, period you would right. not be giving fee service beyond that warranty period absolutely sir right so those are the things that again the solutions come in handy to track those areas right sir okay and this is just cold stone there can be another scenario wherein uh, let's say insurance cards right or uh-huh. um, other kind of thing let's say let's say salesforce technology service you may be a platinum support customer or you may be a silver support customer a platinum support customer can call email sms a silver support customer can only use web for their issues and solutions or communication so if the customer is actually if customer got your phone number and directly called you how would you figure out that the customer is not actually um, 
um, doesn't have the right service. They can't actually make you uh, give you a call. Right, sir. Right. Absolutely. So those are the things where tool comes in handy. So I'll give you another example in this situation. What happens is, let's say a bank calls in. It is a sure. bank, and you have credit cards in that bank. So you have platinum credit card or gold credit card or silver credit card. You call the bank from your phone number, which is registered uh -huh. to your account. It will automatically pop up your customer account. Automatically right. tell the agent that you are a gold customer. Automatically right. tell you that you have actually asked for a loan. So right. before the call starts, they know you, and they know probably five last transactions with you. So when right. they start off the call, they are they know a lot about you than probably you know about yourself. And True, then sir. with that information, they can solve that call much faster. They can even ask you, "Are you calling about that loan application? It's actually in process. We'll let you know by next week. You're done." Right, sir. Right. You cannot say anything else stop this. <laughs> exactly, they're on top of it. Exactly. Now, same thing goes in uh, Colston. Let's take Colston example. If a customer calls in and says, "Okay, you know what? My bar tab is broken. I need you guys to fix it right away." and the customer account came up and it says the bottom warranty expired a year back uh -huh. so you don't start routing or scheduling the call you start by telling customer that you know what actually your warranty is expired would you like to get a new warranty right absolutely right so now you're having more intelligent solutions where you're not spending or wasting time in scheduling something which you should not be doing in the first place right sir you're doing cross selling opportunity to gain gain more sales you're telling customer one providing the information two you are giving the agent ability to do a cross sale to sell warranty right, right. absolutely so, lot of areas lot of things so they are looking for uh, i thought they were looking for crm but now i understand no. they're looking for field service yes sir so uh, they have about 7 to 8 uh, support agents that sit in their office right and they mm -hmm. have about 50 field agents mm -hmm. dedicated to the customer so what happens is by whatever means these 7 8 people one of them gets a call okay xyz is the customer uh, they say that this is the problem or the customer directly calls them ki okay i have i'm having this problem so they align somebody from the field team and then they go to the customer side check what is the problem if they can solve it great otherwise they again reschedule for another agent to come and visit they uh, list down all the things what is required but this is right now done on paper and then a photograph is taken and then shared with the support team so that they can align somebody else later on to bring all these components and fix the issue got it i think in my head i can still think of a solution again i'm not sure how viable it will be but in similar situations we can even see if it is viable to have customers share some pictures during the creation of the work order so that some estimation can be done prior to the visit itself like if the bar tab is broken you know first hand some kind of things you would need to fix it or if the uh, bar tab is leaking that you would need at least a putty to fix it before you even go there right yeah that so, can be incorporated there so those are again it the point is that it will not give you 100% first time resolution but it can improve the rate that is there right now if your first time resolution is now 40% it may bring it up to 60% which can be a huge win okay um, i'm sorry for interrupting sir yogesh are you still on the call i guess he's not ah uh, so what i was thinking is yeah yogesh has left what i what i was thinking is if um, via some bot or i don't know some connection with the email if i can create an email customer care at the redcallston.com and uh, provide them to the customer so the customer can take photographs send it to this email address so uh, my, what my dynamics can do is it will scan the entire email from the who sent it 
to the subject of the email to the body of the email and look for some uh, either your customer id or the product id or whatever and then map it to the customers that we already have attach this email to that customer's service request if that will be possible i'll tell that- you i'll tell you a simple example for it and how it can be done uh, easier when the customer calls in they uh-huh. probably don't know that they have to take pictures yeah right the two scenarios in fact let's say customer calls in and you tell them okay we have created a case we'll send you an email take these pictures and reply us back to the email itself right and when they send the reply those it- attachments those email attachments will be automatically attached to the case that was created yeah that will be created right? use the, sub- the second scenario is this. that okay customer knows and they just send an email to a given email address with the attachments and then system creates a case for that but again i think that is less likely to happen rather than customer calling in and then following the process of sending attachments right true 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 right but then the point is if you have pictures beforehand then you may be able to at least predict some kind of materials or time you will need to do that if let's say the bathtub is broken and you may say you know what actually it is in warranty the bathtub is broken there is no way to fix it so we need a new bathtub and a new bathtub means that i need to send a new bathtub and i need to have adequate time for the person and the resources to be able to install a new bathtub so let's say a bathtub okay. installation takes 6 hours so i'm booking that agent for 6 hours i know that be right now i don't need to book him for 2 hours and then struggle for next 4 hours right so so again i think they can improve first time resolution may not bring it to 100% but can improve it significantly and with lot of optimizations around as we were talking about schedule optimizations route optimizations there is huge 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 uh, opportunity for cost reduction which i'm sure right. they'll be glad to know and okay <laughs> yeah. anybody would be um so i i would say we need to actively pursue it if they have a classic they seem to have a very classic problem one they have a field service running out of excel files which is unimaginable in current state Excellent. and uh, second uh, looks like there are some process improvements that we can also suggest and recommend right right i will so perfect that's great what else any ideas questions thoughts from anyone well sir i'm done now that anil no sir not for now okay <laughs>